IBM invited me to speak at a meeting on customer loyalty uh, in, down in Jacksonville, Florida. So I flew into Jacksonville, and uh, I flew in there on Delta Airlines. I, I don't know if any of you flew Delta. Delta stands for delays every landing through Atlanta. <laughs> Don't expect luggage to arrive. Didn't even leave the airport. <laughs> Don't ever land there again. Okay, so, so the flight's late, and I finally get in, you know, and I get my old beat-up bag, my old tired body, and now I walk out of the airport and I get in the taxi cab line. So I'm standing in the cab line, finally get to the front of the cab line, worn out, it's after midnight, standing there. A guy pulls up in a cab just like this, jumps out of the cab, points at me and says, Are you ready for the best cab ride of your life? You know, I said, yeah, I guess so. He said, well, hop on in. So I'm kind of halfway afraid, you know, now. I'm, so I get in the cab and the guy jogs over and he gets my bag and he puts it in his trunk and he jumps into the car and he turns around and he sticks out his hand and he says, Mr. McCain? I said, well, yeah, but how, how'd you know my name? He said, I saw it on your luggage tag. Figured I might as well use it. He said, I'm Taxi Terry. I thought, oh, great, a motivational cab driver, you know. <laughs> I shake his hand. Hi, Terry. So we take off. He says, so where are you going tonight, Mr. McCain? I said, uh, well, heading to the Marriott downtown. He said, fantastic, sir. Let's check out the weather. He reaches over. Now, all of a sudden, I realize he's got this pocket PC mounted in a very elaborate bracket in his dash. And he hits a button, and the screen pops up, and he's got a magnifying thing over it so very clearly I can read from the back seat what's on the screen he's live real time on the internet weather.com pops up you can see the seconds ticking away it is the up to the second weather forecast for the next three days from Jacksonville he says oh Mr. McCain I hope you are a golfer you're gonna have fantastic t weather here in Jacksonville he says sir first of all tell me why are you here well, I told him a little bit about the companies like I told you and then I told him about you know, here to give a speech on, on customer relationships. Customer relationships? I am so into that, he says. Do you mind if I record our conversation? <laughs> Who are you really? You know, have you seen Taxi Cab Confessions on HBO? I think, you know, by the next show. And, and I, wait, wait, wait. How come you are so able to record the conversations in your cab? He says, well, you see, sir, I set it up that way because that way if, like Dr. Smith, the local customer, he gets in the cab and I'm taking him to the airport and he mentions that his daughter Jill is just enrolled in Vanderbilt. As soon as he gets out of the cab, I record that information. And then that night when I get home, I take all these little recordings I've made throughout the day and I take that information and I enter it into my database. A cab driver with a database... So the next time that the doctor calls for a ride to the airport, I've got that ready, it kicks it out. He gets in the cab, I turn to him and say, by the way, doctor, how's Jill doing at Vanderbilt? He said, you think he's going to ride with anybody else? He told me a couple of, you know what else he did? He called the CBS affiliate down there. And he said, every morning I turn on the TV and you're always talking about where the wrecks are and how hard it's going to be to get to work, but you never give us an alternate route. Who knows an alternate route better than a cab driver? So now if there's a major accident in Jacksonville, this station goes live in the field to Taxi Terry, stand there with a microphone by his cab, <laughs> phone number right there, you know, telling you the alternate route to take to work. We have this great conversation. We pull up in front of the Marriott, and once again, he throws me a curve. He jumps out of his cab. He runs to the back. He opens up the trunk. He takes out my luggage and holds it like it was kin, hands it to the bellman turns to me, now we've all been here, right? I mean, we all travel. This is the point where they hand you a receipt and then they hand you a business card. Here's a receipt, you know, for your expenses. And here's a business card. Please call me and I'll take you back to the airport. And what we normally do is walk out of the hotel and whatever cab's sitting there, that's what we take. He turns to me, nothing in his hand. He says, Mr. McCain, I realize you're probably going to need a receipt for your expenses and you may want to make a reservation to get a ride back to the airport. You can do both of those. Print out your receipt and make your reservation by going to my website, taxiterry.com. A cab driver with his own website and take care of that he said oh one more thing mr. McCain he said you travel a lot you talk to a lot of people you're probably in a lot of cabs he said I'm franchising this I'm franchising everything from the pocket PC in the cab to the are you ready for the best cab ride of your life to all of this so if you ever run into a cab driver that needs help with customer service <laughs> I'm thinking that would be all of them he said you tell him about taxi terror 
Well, the next morning I get up to speak for IBM. This is the biggest thing that's happened to me for a while, right? So guess how I start my speech. Hey, in there last night, are you ready for the best cab ride of your life? The entire audience went, Taxi Terry! He's the official cab driver for IBM. So now here is my fundamental question. If I can get that kind of service on a cab ride in Jacksonville, Florida, why shouldn't the customers of my businesses expect it? Why shouldn't the people that walk in the door of Express expect it? And if I'm not, or if you aren't providing that, what's our excuse? I mean, if the cab driver can do it, why don't we? And I, if you can think of an excuse, I need your help, because I can't think of it. I've got to hold myself to a higher standard, because if a cab driver can be that innovative, if a cab driver can, can change the game about what a ride is like from the airport to the hotel, Surely to goodness, we can find innovative ways to make that happen in our businesses. So when you get back home and you're getting ready to hit it one more time, would you think about what we talked about this morning? As you're walking out, splash the looks of cold water in your face. Look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, today it is showtime. <laughs> Thank you for the chance to be with you this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it.